Hi everybody, this is Anthony from Sunny Creates. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today uh, I thought I would do some of M Scrap Busters. Okay, and I can't remember what episode it is. But I have done some. It's working with your scraps. And I don't know what Melina calls it. Maybe quilted journal cards or something like that. But nevertheless... Uh, it's basically taking scraps of paper and um, um, sticking them in such a way that they look like uh, quilts. Okay, so uh, these are done on six by six. Oh, uh, no, I lie. I'm working in centimeters here. 12 centimeters by 12 centimeters. And I think these were 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. Okay, so you can... Oh, well, not quite, but nevertheless. So you can go and follow um, the M Scrap Busters, and I'll put the hashtag down below um, or in my video description. And um, you can, you know, look at all the challenges that uh, Melina has, and then uh, you can work off it as well. So I, 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 I'll be honest with you, I liked the end result, okay? But the only problem about the scrap buster but i will do it in future is the fact that uh your your, your scraps must all be straight uh, um pieces if you get what i mean because you gotta butt the edges against each other over there i don't uh, and i think they must also if i look at the way it's designed but maybe i am wrong but they must be straight edges and they must all be the same size so, yes, it's fantastic for uh, getting rid of your scraps, I must admit, because each one over here is one inch scraps that I used. Uh, but it's a schlep to cut down your scraps to one inches all the time. So I will definitely use this project over here. But the, but I must say the prep takes longer than the actual product. So I'm quite excited. Uh, I've made these for here and I've... Um, I've made them beforehand so that I can allow them to dry and then I'm going to emboss them and then I'm going to sew around them. So I'm going to leave that so that I can do the following. Now you'll find that I have a whole lot of scraps over here that I cut down to one inch uh, sizes. Okay. Um, so one inch uh, width and then you can have it as long as you want to. Right, so then you will also find some that are not straight edged because I started using them. And I'm not going to then cut out more scraps for now. Okay, so then I've got... Uh, the good thing is you can use just about any piece of cardboard you want. You can use, uh, uh, you can use pages, so uh, meaning that you can use like copy paper, weight pages or prints. You can use cardboard prints on it. You can use music paper. You can use book pages. Literally, it's fantastic for your scraps. It's just that uh, for me, <laughs> yep, I don't, uh, uh, you know, I'm impatient. For the patient crafter, I think it's wonderful. But as I mentioned, I will definitely do it again. Okay, so let's get started. The, um, what I do like about this is that... Uh, you can, you know, start from anywhere and it's going to look beautiful. Let's put it that way, right? So I've got some scraps over here that I'm going to take out and I'm going to start using. And I'm just going to put my uh, page over here. Now, uh, Milena uh, used, um, what's this word? Um, Two-sided tape or double-sided tape. Uh, and uh, it's great in the sense that this was done with double-sided tape and then you can see that it does not warp like this, okay? The only reason I don't like using double-sided tape is because my word, my pair of scissors got really, really sticky when I was cutting it out, you know, uh, the double-sided tape that I didn't need. And then also it doesn't give you wiggle room, okay? So if you're someone that can line up straight and... Uh, your, your pieces up straight in one go fantastic but if you're someone that struggles to do precision you know lining up and stuff like that then i would say use your glue so i'm not going to use my double-sided tape but i must say it gives a much better 
effect in the long run but in in terms of this this is neater for me because um yeah I, I just like the fact that I can wiggle around with it and then also I can put it on a stack of books and I can get it straight again so I don't mind that so I'm not using double-sided tape on that I am using my glue which I thought I had over here right now and there it is over here okay so you'll need your scraps cut into one inch strips I don't know I think Malena cut it into half inch strips if I'm not mistaken uh that was just too cumbersome for me um but yeah half inch strips i think she did and then you'll need some stuff to uh you know ink if you want to ink it and then if you want to emboss it then you'll need some embossing folder and then also if you want to sew it you know your machine kind of a thing right so what am i going to do i'm just going to start putting some glue here like that okay so it is a bit messy when you use glue i must admit but um, in the long run, if I'm going to be able to have the wiggle time, I'm happy about that. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to just, as I said, put it anywhere on the page that you want to. Okay, I'm lining it up like that. Okay, then the next strip, I'm going to line it up on this side here like this. Okay, hence my glue over there now, right? What works for you, works for you. It doesn't really matter. All right, so I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to butt it up against that edge, this edge, and that edge there. Okay, so this piece is going to sit kind of here. And you can see now, because I'm not using double-sided tape, I can wiggle it around kind of like that. Okay, and then I'm going to put it down like that. Now, I can use my other glue that... Um, uh, will allow for me not to have warped pages but I'm okay I'm fine with the fact that I'm not going to I'm not going to go sew these now I'm going to sew them later so I'm okay with the fact that uh, you know I can put it under some books or whatever the case may be so then this piece will butt up against that edge and then this edge over here and uh, you saw that I just lay mine down like that and then I had time to move it around, okay? And that's basically this entire project, uh, just quilting it. And I, I love the project. I love the final result of it. <sighs> I'm just not, I'm not the patient crafter, let's say. I'm not the most patient crafter, so I, um, I struggle. Struggle with anything that, like, can you see now I use that edge? But it's fine because all I'm going to do is this. I'm not, yeah, the most patient crafter. So it did, oh, you know, <laughs> it did take its toll on me that I needed to um, glue the, um, cut them in one in strips. But I must say what I like about this project as well is that when you come to the corners, you can use pretty small scraps over there pretty small scraps to sort that out okay so or to cover those edges there so there we go on that one there yeah and the other thing that's great about this project if you think about it is you're really really using your tiniest of scraps over here in the sense that the, the width of it is only one inch or i think malena as i mentioned used half an inch Okay, so these are pieces that I already used. And maybe I will line it up over here like this. And then I will take my ruler or I'll do it on a cutter. You know, it's just easier for me to cut it. And I, I, I can I can choose any other strip, but I am choosing the strip over, here, strip over here. So I can show you. There we go. And I'm just going to cut out that piece there. And that's it. And look, that's what I'm missing on that thing and I'm going to just throw it into my bin over there. So you can see that you're really using the tiniest of tiniest. Okay, okay, so in this case, I can't really use this because I need to cover that edge there. Okay, and then I'm short on this edge over here. So I'm going to leave that and I'm probably going to use that on the next round. So let's use uh, this one here. Okay, so this is book page here. And I'm just going to butt it up there like that. So I'm not inking or anything. 
I don't want to go with the effect of inking. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to use this one here. Right, so there's that. And I'm going to use it there like that. Okay, kind of a thing. There we go, there. Right, and then I'm going to turn it here. And I need something on this side. So what about this piece? Okay, uh, I was going to put it that way. Yes, I can. But then it's already over there. So let's try and take something different. Uh, let's try and take this one here. Okay, I just want to add more glue over here. Like that. And then I'm going to put this piece here like that. Okay, just so that you cover up the edges. And that's basically how it works. Isn't that just super cool? Just put your glue down and put your paste pieces on here. I love this project in the sense that it gets to use up all those pieces, you know. But then that's what Malena does, her, you know, M Scrap Busters. And please do follow her. I must say she's one of the ladies that really does um, nice, simple projects that you can follow along with and you're really going to use your scraps so um i started off late i started off uh, probably on episode number 97 or something like that uh so i'm gonna go start backwards going backwards in order to be able to catch up with the rest of the stuff i think i'm gonna put something uh that has a little bit more up like you know for pattern over there did i uh did i put some music paper down no i didn't but i'm not going to put the music paper down uh simply because uh that part of the music paper has uh you know some blank pages some blank thing all right so that's basically that one done and then all you do is you turn it around and then you cut off the pieces. But I think I'm going to let this dry for a few minutes and then I'm going to show you another of her techniques. Okay, so we're going to start with a scrap that is one inch by one inch. So I don't have any here, but I'm going to take the one inch strips and I am going to cut it one inch by one inch. Okay, so I've got that part there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another uh, piece of scrap. Now, on this one, as I mentioned to you, it is 12 centimeters by 12 centimeters, if I am not mistaken. 12 by... Oh, it's not 12 by 12. Okay, I think I must cut it 12 by 12. So 12, it is 12 this way, but it's not 12. 12 that way so i want it to be 12 by 12 okay um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move it up here like that and i'm going to take out 12 here but i don't think it really matters but for this one here i want it to be kind of like a square because i'm going to be measuring some stuff on it so i think i'd like it to be as you know square as possible just for my measurements and then what you can do is after you make it into a square, then you can start cutting it down to fit. You know, you, you can make tags. So I can make a tag with this, like two tags. This one was a mistake. Okay, so, but I can make two tags with it, two slim tags with it, depending on how, um, what's the word, uh, how big you make your strips. Right, so I said 12 by 12, so it's 12 by 12. So what I'm going to do is I am going to measure, okay, um, six centimeters in that direction, there, and here, like this, and then I'm going to measure six on this side as well. So I'm not giving you two exact measurements over here, simply because, as I mentioned, you can do it whatever size you want, four inches, five inches, it really doesn't matter okay so all I'm gonna do now is I am going to draw a line 
uh, so it's going to become a cross okay like that and I'm not worried simply because I am going to be covering this so I don't care if there's a line in the middle of my work then I'm going to take this piece here that I have now I want to show you something that's it that, that piece over there this is me gluing that piece incorrectly and I'm going to show you it doesn't work okay so just make sure that you understand which way to glue this piece okay so you are not going to glue it straight you are going to glue it at a um oh you know like a diamond so I'm, all I'm doing is I measure, I'm just butting up the edges of the diamond on the uh, uh, to match the lines on the uh, the cardboard that I drew. And it doesn't really matter if you don't get it perfectly straight. It doesn't matter. So now what we're going to do is we are going to add some paper. Right? So... I'm going to do this. This year, butt it up with that, and then voila. Right? Like that. Let's see if I stuck it completely down. No. So, as I mentioned, your hand is going to get dirty and stuff like that. So, you're more than welcome to use the. Um, the sticky tape or the two-sided tape I promise you it does a much cleaner job than that but in this way I'm just able to manipulate the the page and I'm gonna put that one over there like that okay can you see that like that there now I uh, don't think I've got more green, so I'm going to cut off this here. You can use all the colors, but this just frames it in a nicer way. There we go, like that. Okay, and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it here. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit more glue on this. Seems I didn't do such a good job. Yeah, I'm gonna put that one here. And I think my glue is stuck because it's not flowing so freely. Right, and then I'm gonna butt this one up against here like that. See? Like a kind of a windmill, if you think about it. Wonder what's this called? Diamond windmill. I mean, what quilting technique is this? And that against that thing. Okay, and that's basically how it frames that part there. And now we can go in with whatever colors we want to, and uh, we can finish it up. Okay. If you want it to blend in, then you don't have to do this. You can use any colors you want. If you want it to stand out, then you will frame it in all the same colors. If that makes any sense whatsoever. There we go. Here's another one there. And then... It doesn't really matter the order that you put it down in. Um, let's bring this nearer. So we can see what's in here so this is quite fun because you can really um you know one day sit well i think even while watching tv or whatever get this uh have your strips cut out and then just play like this did i did i glue this properly no but there we go there. And then, and you can color coordinate it as much as you want to. I don't want to color coordinate it. I want it to be random. Uh, 
the only thing I've done is I've chosen light colors uh, together. I haven't chosen any dark colors, uh, like bright colors, not dark bright. There we go there. And then I think here is where I'm going to put some music paper. Here, like that. And what I'm just going to do in order to get the most of my music paper, I'm just going to cut that off there. Okay. And then I'm going to use this over here like that kind of a thing. Okay. And then on this side of here, maybe I'm going to use that. And I must admit, it, it's difficult for me. I like everything color coordinated and things like that. And here I'm mixing up all the colors. But I, I like the effect. I really like the effect. And then uh, let's just say, let's add this one here like that yes I hope that you're well and that this for South Africans we had a long weekend and our weekend started on Friday and yeah so for South Africans I hope that you're enjoying your long, long weekend although it's you know at an end now today's sunday and then today is also father's day so voila that's it and i would have said happy father's day to the viewers but i don't think there's any viewers that are males unless you're watching it with your partner or someone and you're a male then happy father's day if you are a father of whether it is a fur baby or a, a human baby or what other babies do you get? I don't know. Um, reptiles? <laughs> Amphibians? I don't know. <laughs> yes. So if you are a parent in any way and you're a male and you're a father, happy Father's Day. How's that? I hope I'm being politically correct here. So I'm just cutting off the the edges here. Like that. Ta-da! Oh, love it. Love it. So I'm going to keep these pieces because I can still use them. Okay, and then, like really I can, and then the smaller pieces like this, I'm going to throw that away now, I think. I think I'm permitted to throw that away, right? Okay, so that's that there. And then let's see this one here. Now this is not totally dry, as you can see, but I'm going to go, I'm going to cut it in to cut it to show you the final result. How's that? Like that, and like this. Cool. These are really, they, can you see how quickly they come together? They come together really quickly, and you can make a whole lot of them, and then you can allow them to dry, and then you can, uh, you know, sew them. You don't have to sew them. You don't have to emboss them. They perfectly fine the way they are. So let's keep these here and let's throw that and that away. So that's it. That's the project, right? So these are the two we made on camera. And these are the ones. This was the mishap. Okay. Oh, where's my glue? Glue. Just looking for the glue thingy. Hmm. I must put my thing back on uh, the, what's this word? The little dangle. I must put the dangle. It's in here. I'm just so lazy to put it on. Right. Uh, right. So, yes, this is the one we did on camera. And I think we did this one on camera. 
if I'm not mistaken. Whichever. This is the one I did off. This is my boo boo. And these are the other two that are different in size. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to take this, this, and I think this one here because it's dried. And I am, uh, and my boo boo, okay. And I am going to leave these to dry. I'm going to sew these and I'm going to emboss it and I'm going to come back and show that to you. Okay. Okay, so I am back. And um, I didn't ink around the edges because I thought I'll try something with you. So I'm using walnut stain. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, these brushes, they these sponges unfortunately get finished so quickly. Sorry about that noise. So I thought I'll do the edges with walnut stain like that. They really came out pretty. And I used two different types of um uh, what's this called? Embossing folders here. So one, I tried to mimic, you know, the free style. I don't know what it's called. Uh, is it called freeform? Freeform, I think it's called freeform form quilting. Okay. And the other one, I tried to get like squares uh, or more like diamonds on it. So I'm going to try and show it to you uh, uh, by running maybe a um so i think on this one here let's try a blue okay let's try a blue and let's try and run a blue brush through it to pick up that uh or blue ink through it to pick up a little bit of the uh of what's this word i'm looking for that embossed pattern coming through here now yes I think, I think that blue worked so I'm really doing it very lightly as you can see over here and I think I had already some blue on the brush okay so that's the blue and here I was thinking uh, let's also pick up some blue here because it's quite a bit of blue on this one as well so this is the free form one and I'll show you, I'll give you a quick closer. This was my boo-boo. But I mean, even with the boo-boo, after you embossed it and you sewed it and stuff like that, it looks pretty cute. I must admit. Uh oh, uh oh, look at what I did there. That's terrible. You can always put a label or something on it. Yeah, nice. And yeah, I think I'll pick it up with some pink. So, oh, what do we have in pink over here? Worn lipstick, no. Victorian velvet. Let's try Victorian velvet. Don't know. Uh, let's just add it to this quickly in case I picked up too much. Okay, so. Here we go. Ah, these are looking nice now. I'll show it to you just now, you know with uh this is pink hey yeah and then here as well pick up some pink here as well on this one so not a lot just a little to highlight that um uh, that embossing i don't know how much you're going to see to be honest on camera but it's subtle but enough let's just put it that way subtle but enough to pick up that embossing so let's see if you can pick that up on the camera here so so this is the free form one oh, sorry let's just do that free form and there's the embossing on it i think they make nice pockets and that's also the free form did i pick it up with the same colors i did Okay, doesn't matter. Also pink on this one here, light pink on the free form. I made a mistake. I was supposed to put one through the other way, the other embossing folder. 
also free form where's my bobo day <laughs> okay and then this is the the quilting part one yeah i think you can see it we have got like little squares over there okay so that's basically our project for today i do hope that you enjoyed it and oh this this looks really crooked i do hope that you enjoyed it and that it was you know something you can use your uh, scraps on i think they came out pretty cute if i may say so myself thanks so much everybody and uh, do take care and i'll see you over the week let's put it here so you can have a better look yeah we'll see you during the course of the week take care bye bye that's a plus for me something that sunny creates and have a blessed week ahead bye, -bye.